Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to everyone. I am Amir Islam bin Zulkifli and I am reporting 3 p.m. news from TV69. So today news will highlight the stock exchange of Dutch Lady and Petronas Gas Berhad. All the information obtained from Bursa Malaysia are the daily report that we have gathered from the past days and we clearly see the movement of the stock market for each company. We proceed to the next one. Thank you, Amir Rizal. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Jadu Nazmi bin Jahardin. And with me today, let us review a short history of Dutch Lady Milk Industries, Malaysia. Dutch Lady Milk Industries is a manufacturer of cow milk and dairy products since year 1960. They were previously under Royal Friesland Food, which is a Netherlands-based multinational cooperative company. Dutch Lady is currently a subsidiary of Friesland Capina. Dutch Lady started as Pacific Milk Industries Malaya Sri on 30th May 1963, where it was commissioned to produce sweetened condensed milk in the factory in Petaling Jaya, becoming Friesland Foods' first production facility outside of the Netherlands. Move on to Petronas Gas Berhad. Petronas is the acronym for Petroleum National Berhad. It was established in August 1974 and operates under the terms of the Operation Petroleum Development Act passed in October 1974. Since it was invested, Petronas has grown to be an international oil and gas company with business interests in more than 31 countries. As of the end of March 2005, the Petronas Group Comprise of 103 wholly owned subsidiaries, 90 partly owned outfits, and 57 associate companies. Among those are Petronas Gas Merhat. Okay, so, moving on, Dutch Lady Milk Malaysia Merhat is a dairy products manufacturer and supplier in Malaysia. Dutch Lady's target market is people of all ages, ranging from infants to adults. Moreover, Petronas is a fully integrated across the value chain from the upstream exploration, development, production, processing, transportation, and gas transmission to the marketing of liquefied natural gas and other petroleum products. I would like to pass to my colleague Muhammad Dini and Muhammad Rushdi to provide statistics and analysis for the stock exchange at our headquarters at Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange Market. Thank you, Thank you Jonathan Nazmi. Without further ado, we are going to review the performance of Dutch Lady stocks from 27 May until 31st May 2019. On 27 May, Dutch Lady closed 0 0.12 cents lower at 63 ringgit and 50 cents. The counter previous close is at 63 ringgit and 50 cents with highest at 64 ringgit and 50 cents, while the lowest is at 63 ringgit and 50 cents. The total trade shares value for Dutch Lady this week is around 4 billion and 64 million ringgit Malaysia. The performance of Dutch Lady showing an increase in growth this week. Investors should really consider to invest in this stock since the company is doing well and stable so far. For the year 2019 and expected to be going strong in the near future. For stocks holder of Dutch Lady should hold your stocks because the value is expected to increase and rise in the upcoming years. That's all from me today. I'm Omar Rushdi. We'll pass the news to my friend here, Dini. Thank you, Rishi Jaza. Now I will tell you on the market performance of Petronas Gas Brand. On the 28th of May, Petronas Gas had closed 0.01 cents lower at 16 ringgit and 20 cents. The counter previous close is at 16 ringgit and 8 cents, with the highest at 17 ringgit and 44 cents. Meanwhile, the lowest is at 16 ringgit and 8 cents. The total trade shares value of Petronas Gas had this week is around 35 billion. 459 million ringgit in Malaysia. The performance of Petronas Gas Berhad shows a tremendous increase in growth this week. Investors should really consider to invest in this stock since the company is doing well and there are positive fluctuations for the price of stocks in this week. 
and it is expected to grow strong in the near future. For shareholders and stockholders in Petronas Gas Berhad, should hold your stocks because the value is expected to rise more in the upcoming week. That is all from us. Reporting from a Kuala Lumpur Stocks Exchange. Thank you. Thank you. The stock price for Dutch Lady increased significantly by four ringgit in the first quarter from January to April. That is a constant, slightly increase from Dutch Lady stock from the second quarter to fourth quarter which is from April until December. The stock price from April 2017 was 56 ringgit which constantly increased to 60 ringgit Malaysia in the end of the year 2017. The general reasons on the stock price increase in the year 2017 are because increased demand from China and supply factors that have kept pace with demand. Besides that, New Zealand, one of the world's main producers of milk products, has also made the situation more worse globally, which led to consumers to pick another product. In January to April 2018, a sharp increase shown in the first quarter of 2018 by the stock where a maximum price reached which is 70 ringgit Malaysia. However, in the end of the quarter, it decreased to 66 ringgit Malaysia. Also, the stock price was slightly increased in the month of May and June where the price goes up to 70 ringgit. The last second quarter from July to December 2018, the stock shows a constantly decrease until the price reached 62 ringgit from 70 ringgit. Last but not least, the reason the stock price goes down in 2018 is because it was dragged down by additional provisions and unfavorable impact of currency and raw material costs. Okay, now thank you. For Petronas Gas Berhad, stock price is at 1st January 2017 is at 21.50 and goes slightly down to 1.50 at the end of the 1st quarter. This means that the share price of the Petronas Gas Berhad at the end of the 1st quarter is at RM and 20 ringgits. The stock price for Petronas Gas Berhad continued to decrease as they approach the end of the 2nd quarter and the end of the price for the second quarter is at RM 18 ringgit and 50 cents. This shows that Petronas Gas Berhad stock price has decreased by RM 51 ringgit and 50 cents until the end of the second quarter. During the period of the third quarter, the stock price seems to go down, not moves and only decreased RM 50 cents at the end of the third quarter. Petronas stock price are affected badly by the market instantly from October 2017 to December 2017 as the price goes down from 1 ringgit and 18 cents to RM 16 ringgit. The price stock slowly recovering starting at the end of December and by the end of the fourth quarter of 2017, the stock price closed at RM 18 ringgit by the end of the year. On 1st of January 2018, Petronas shares is open at RM 18 ringgit and went down by 20 cents at the end of the first quarter, which means that the price close is at 17 ringgit and 80 cents. The price continues to decrease as the time goes on at the end of the second quarter and the price closed at 17 ringgit and 50 cents. Petronas share market started to show positive movement at the end of the third quarter and closing price of the third quarter increased by 1 ringgit and 50, 1 ringgit and 50 cents, making the closing price for the Petronas market is at 19 ringgits. The price continued to rise at the end of the fourth quarter. The share at the end of the fourth quarter is 19 ringgits and 30 cents, with increments of RM and 30 cents. That is all from us. Thank you. Bursa Malaysia Portal is one of the platform for foreign and local investor to view and evaluate stocks in Malaysia. Not to forget that investor can also perform buying and selling stocks transaction there. Stocks are highly volatile and therefore we must keep a good observing system on them. That's all from me. Thank you.